Hi guys, how you doing? This is teacher Ricardo again and today we're going to continue with um, the second part of um, the same topics that we were learning um, in the last video. Okay, and I have right here the titles or the topics, profession, workplaces and etc etc. You already know, okay? I'm going to try to go a little bit fast this time because I don't want to make this video too long because I don't want you guys to be bored okay so let's begin with a video and we're going to watch the first part of this video to review previous class okay this is the this going is one video and i divided the video in two parts okay so pay attention and hopefully you can remember um, the activities we did last class what do you want to be when you grow up i want to be Hey, I never think thought of that. Uh, let me think about that. Whoa. I want to be a teacher when I grow up. Elementary teacher. I like little kids. A babysitter. A pastor. A dolphin trainer. A gentle without each bunch. A hair cutter. A person who helps ch in charities. Only cash you at Walmart. A author. Chapter books about mythical creatures and animals and things. I want to be a lawyer. Lawyer. Pilot. Pilot. Pilot? And a dad? A pilot racer dad? Scientist. Scientist. Paleontologist. Mind for dinosaur bones and study them. YouTuber. Movie star. A famous actor. 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 Mm -hmm. On stage, on TV, on Disney Channel, or commercials. I gotta be a model. Model. I want it. If I want I'll just be a policeman. Police. 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 Police officer. A cop. I want to car chases. Cash bad guys. A superhero. Batman. By the man. I would like to go into the U.S. Army because my grandma, she loved the army, but she never went into the service. I want to be. Third African American gymnast. Gymnastic coach. I want to be a professional dancer. 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 Dance teacher. Ballerina. Professional soccer player. I have a shirt on right now. That's for Barcelona. Soccer player. Basketball player. Basketball, football, or soccer player. Or baseball. I can never choose. Mm, I do not know. I'm still working on that. Okay, this is the first part of the video. I recommend you guys to watch it again because it's, uh, some of the kids are saying funny things. Okay, and as you can see, uh, we were talking about professions and we're going to continue working with uh, vocabulary, with this type of voc vocabulary about professions. Uh, but in this case, we're going to include a little bit of the past simple. Okay, let's go to the next presentation. This one right here, past simple. On the top of the screen, we have four verbs in the past tense uh, join learn may talk okay and right here we have a conversation and you guys at home you need to complete the missing parts okay in the first question right here I want you to notice the structure of the sentence of the question uh, I mean uh, vean la estructura de la pregunta First, WH words, palabras con doble H al inicio. Then the auxiliar for the past simple, el auxiliar did para el pasado simple. Then the subject, then the verb, and then the complement of the sentence, and then the question mark. Okay. Also, you need to remember that when you are using did, the verb stays in the uh, regular form. ¿Sí? Aparece did, el verbo se queda en su forma normal. Okay. Now, over here we have a blank space. They say, I, the organization two years ago. A volunteer came to my school and he about God Green. Okay? Please read it. Do it in your house in a piece of paper. And when you finish, send it back to me through classroom. You need to send homework back to me through classroom. Okay? And uh, during our uh, virtual class, we're going to check the answers all together, okay? Um, over here in the next presentation, I have the structure for the past simple. This one right here on the top, you already know this information. Ya saben esta información. Ustedes, regular and irregular verbs, 
uh, remember that regular verbs have a, a, the uh, ending part in common. For example, play, plate. Walk, walked. Study, studied. Okay? La terminación es de para los regulares. And irregular, you sometimes we have to uh, remember the word. Tenemos que acordarnos de la palabra porque cambia totalmente. Make, made. Okay? And this is the structure for the affirmative sentence, la estructura para la forma afirmativa, subject plus the base form plus ed, okay? And right here for the affirmative uh, form, in the case of irregular verbs, it's pretty much the same, subject and the second form, la segunda forma del verbo, okay? Now, right here, this is the part that is the most important for today, because we're going to be using the auxiliar, did. Uh, for positive, didn't, for negative, ok? And the structure is this one. Subject, el sujeto de quien estamos hablando, plus didn't, in the negative form, and the base form, ok? Let's see the examples. Regular verbs. These are the possibilities of the subjects. Las posibilidades del sujeto puede ser que yo diga I didn't, you didn't, he didn't, ok? Uh, let's do it with he. He didn't play football yesterday, okay? Because I'm talking about the past, I have I have this word right here, yesterday, okay? And remember, like I told you up here, if uh, you are using the auxiliar did or didn't, the verb needs to be in the base form or regular form, ¿sí? La forma normal. No cambia porque aquí ya estás expresando el pasado. Okay. The interrogative form. This is the structure. First, we're going to use did right here. Then the subject. And then the base form. The complement. And the question mark. Okay. Um, I remember telling you guys to use the uh, X formula. La fórmula de la X. Eh, para hacer una interrogación. Ponemos en primer lugar did. Y en segundo término. El sujeto, ¿sí? Se forma una crucecita. Ok. Um, empezamos con la pregunta. Did she play football yesterday? Ok. And remember to use the intonation when you are making questions. La entonación no se nos olvide para las preguntas, ¿verdad? Ok. El otro sería, o oh, bueno, en este mismo ejemplo vamos a utilizar ahora we. Did we play football yesterday? ¿Sí? De la entonación. Ok, para el caso de los irregulares es pretty much the same. Did we go to the cinema last night? Ok, ok, for the interrogative uh, form, but using WH words. La forma interrogativa pero con palabras WH. ¿Sí? Remember that the WH words are the ones that we use for or to look for information. Las palabras con WH son las que utilizamos para buscar información. Y siempre van al principio. And let's see both of the examples. The first one. What did you play yesterday? The next example. Where did they go last night? ¿Sí? Ok. If you take your time and study this information, it's going to be really uh, uh, comprehensible and, and easy for you. Okay? You just have to remember that when you are using did, the verb stays in the, ba in the base form. ¿Sí? La forma base no cambia porque aquí ya expresamos el pasado. Okay? Let's continue to the next activity. This activity is from your book. And it says use the questions, then answer and write your score. And scramble the questions, perdón. Um, we have the word how, you, get to school, did, yesterday. And we need to unscramble this to make a correct question. And for this activity, you can go back over here and follow the structure. Okay? Um, let's go back over here. So, in the first question, as you can see, we have WH word. Therefore, this one needs to go first. ¿Ok? Tiene que ir en primer lugar la palabra con WH. Aquí está, hasta abajo. Then it says that we need to use the auxiliar. How did 
okay? And then, uh, what do we have to do next? The subject, de quien estamos hablando, and then, and then the base form of the verb. And let's go like this, oops, I went too far, okay. Um, how did you get to school yesterday? ¿Sí? Seguir la estructura que está aquí. No tengo ya ningún problema. I don't have any problem to solve it. This is what you have to do in your house. Write the answers. Ok. I mean, uh, formulate the correct question. <coughs> And then you have to answer. Right here. If you went to a school walking or if you rode your bike, you have to choose your answer right here. Okay? And then continue like that by public transportation, by car. This column is for your partner, but um, because you are working by yourself in your house, just complete this one, only this one right here. And then at the end, check your score. If you made between 20 and 25, it says you really contribute to change, change in the world. Great job. Okay, so please do it at home. Let's continue to the next presentation. This one right here, grammar, past simple. This is going to be homework also. Remember to do your homework on a piece of paper and send it, take a picture and send it to me through classroom, please, because um, I want you guys to have a good grade this time. And it says complete the questions in past tense using the verbs in parentheses. We're going to use the, these verbs that, they, that we have over here. Alex, when did you join Help the Elderly? ¿Sí? ¿Cuándo te uniste a ayudar al anciano? Okay. Es la misma estructura que estábamos viendo antes. The same structure that we were looking at before. First, WH word, did, subject, verb in the regular form, and the complement. Okay? So please do it at home and send it to me through classroom. The next presentation. Homework number two. Read the text on page 100. Mark the sentence, the, I mean the statements, true or false. Then write or rewrite the, cor the incorrect sentences, okay? Um, page 100, um, let me see, I think it's this one, true or false, read the text on page 100. Zach joined Go Green when he was nine. Let me move this a little bit. Ah, okay, okay. This is the one that you need to reread. To complete this okay when you finish or by this time you're supposed to have a finish the activity because we have it right here okay you complete it right here and then when you finish completing that part you answer this <coughs> information uh, choosing true or false okay and also I want you guys to do it on, on your notebook and uh, send it to me through homework the next presentation if you have any questions let's say tomorrow or today you have a question something that you didn't understand you can contact me through classroom okay and I'm, I'm going to try to answer you as fast as I can um, this is your project for week number two okay not this week from the 20 to the 25th is going to be for the next one para la siguiente semana, para el fin de mes, este es tu proyecto. Write about your teen hero. Vas a escribir acerca de tu héroe adolescente. And if you don't have any uh, teen hero right now in your mind, you can search in Google. Okay? Si no tienes uno en la mente ahorita, puedes buscar en Google y escoges uno y escribes eh, la información. Obviously, you have to write it in English. Ok? And over here it says, please turn in your project on Friday, May 1st. Es para el primero de mayo. O sea que tienen suficiente tiempo para hacerlo muy bonito. Okay, now let's watch the second part of the video that we were watching at the beginning. Pay attention, please. Grow up, I'll pick. 
I already have a whole plan. So the Air Force for 20 years, become a businessman, make my own company for cars. I want to be a Pokemon trainer. I want to work at Target. I want a, a cake. I want to be a pop star. Rock star. Singer. 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 Uh, I want to be a cook. A cook. But I don't really know how to actually cook. I want to be an artist. Artist. Painter. I want to be an artist that goes around painting walls. A artist and a video game maker. Video game designer. Video game. I want to be a filmmaker. Um, whatever my dad is. Oh, do you know what your dad is? I'm not sure. I'll be a doctor. 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 A mermaid. A mermaid. Doctor. Hmm. Heart surgeon. Neurosurgeon. Cardiologist. Gynecologist. Pediatrician. The kid's doctor. Pediatrician. And why do you want to do that? I want to be a doctor and then I can wear rainbow sweatpants. I really want to be a nurse. Everyone says you have to be very good at science and math. I'm not really, but I still want to be one. I want to be a pet doctor because I like helping animals. Pet vet. 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 Veterinarian. Veterinarian. Zoologist. Princess fairy zookeeper. How much do you think they get paid? $29. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, I recommend you guys to watch the video again and try to understand everything that they say because I told you uh, some of the kids are saying funny things, okay? Let me see, there is one kid that is saying, instead of saying her profession, she, she is saying uh, that she wants a cake, que quiere un pastel, creo que es ella, let me see. Uh. A cake. <laughs> Instead of saying her dream profession, she said, I, I want a cake. Ya tiene hambre. Okay. Uh, that's it, guys. Um, take care. Guys, I miss you. Stay safe in your house. And wash your hands, your face. And stay in your house, okay? And hopefully, I can see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.